Kazatu president to address Limbobo Shop Stewards Council. And DS says ANC had enough time to fix Ektekwini municipality finances. I'm Lebo Changela with this news update. Kazatu President Dumot Lamino will address a provincial shop stewards council in Ibobo today. The meeting follows the decision by the Federation Central Executive Committee of Kazatu to embark on a national strike against road holding and labor brokering. The Federation's provincial secretary, Dan Sebabi, says the current Ibobo provincial government status will also be discussed. The main uh, focus of the shop stewards council will be to mobilize shop stewards so that they can mobilize workers in the workplaces. As we prepare for the national strike that will take place on the 7th of March 2012 against the uh, labor brokers demanding the total ban of labor brokers. But as you would know, Limbabwe has got its own peculiar uh, political environment, in particular in terms of governance, where you have five provincial departments put under national uh, cabinet administration. The DA in Itaquini municipality says that the ANC in KwaZulu Natal had ample time to ensure smooth running of the council finances since 1996, but did nothing to improve the situation. The caucus leader at the Itaquini Metro Tax Collins says the situation worsened in the last five to six years. He says criminal charges should be laid against perpetrators. As far as we are concerned, those city officials and what's more, the body politic, the councillors who've been guilty of, of contributing any number of regulations and breaking any number of laws must be made to face the music. If heads should roll, then roll they must. If criminal charges must be brought against these people, then we will bring criminal charges against them. If disciplinary action is to be uh, introduced, then we must do it. Police in the northern free states say the situation at Wadindalsaras and Valcom, where shops owned by foreigners have been looted as calm. Police are still patrolling the area. Police spokesperson Stephen Taking says there were reports of people trying to lose shops owned by local people. What we have seen happening last night for the fact that all the foreign nationals are out now, out of Kutuanung, ordinary phrase, and then that's when they are starting to attack the local businessmen operating in Kutuanung as they were trying to attack other shops. Fortunately, we responded quickly enough that's when they couldn't succeed in breaking and looting the shops. And Gilebukhile Siwa, the woman arrested last October for allegedly murdering her five children at Loa Majahoro in the Northern Cape, will appear in the Bambir Stad Magistrate Court today. 35 year old Siwa allegedly gave four of her children a poisoned drink and drowned her youngest child, who was two years old. Matalebula Morake has the details. Siwa has only appeared twice before the court, where she waived her right to apply for bail. She was then transferred to Vescopis Mental Institution in Pretoria for mental observation. Last month, her case was postponed as the medical team could not present the psychiatric report to the court because they said they needed more time to compile it. At a time, her lawyer pointed out that if she was found to be mentally unstable, then all charges against her could be dropped. But if she is found to have been of sound mind when she committed the deeds, then they will proceed with the bail application.